Welcome to Robert Land. That's right, your favorite not safe for work comedy theme park podcast. And I'm your host, Robert Thompson. And here's your co-host, Roscoe Soul Train. Robert, it's been a while, man. I know, dude. I'm excited. Yeah. You got your glasses on? Yeah. What is that for? You uh, need protection? Yes, dude. I'm trying to protect myself. Uh, I, you know, I've got fair skin. Uh-huh. There's <laughs> a lot. Of, I, I, we pumped this little space full of light, so. Yeah. yeah. I like it. It's beautiful, man. Like we it. got some some uh, some good. fun stuff here today, dude. We do. Yeah. We do. We're going to talk all about the A&W restaurant chain. Boy, howdy, dude. Wow. I just went there. I'm excited to talk about this. All right, man. Yeah. it's uh, It's got a fun place in, I think, all of our hearts. Yes. And I'm surprised that we're not drinking floats here today. But I know, man. That would have been very we, celebratory. We talked about that. Yes. Fuck, dude. We just God, did not come We prepared. dropped the ball, but it's okay. But, hey, and you know what? Honestly, let's just announce it right here. We're, do, we're doing a whole... Robert Land is taking a turn. <laughs> yes, it is. I don't know if this is the first one. Is this the first one of the series? I don't know. Oh, no. It's not the first one of the series. Robert Land has taken a turn. <laughs> yes, it is. So taken if you a turn. were not... If you were watching... If you didn't watch the last episode... Um, yeah, we're we're on the uh, the road to heart disease and yeah, diabetes. Yeah, this is our uh, California, uh, you know, th- <laughs> diner fast food specials. Yeah, you know, and it's not just a California based chain. No, however, we will talk a lot about those. It's it originated in California. So, A and W. Yep, it did. Yeah. And what it's like Linwood or something. Uh, Lodi. Lodi. That's right. Well, yeah. we'll we'll get there, but. Uh, now it's time for my favorite segment. Your favorite segment. A fast, fast Food Minute with, with Zach, Zach Hillman. Hillman. Enjoy. Enjoy. This is Fast Food Minute with Zach Hillman. <clears throat> KFC, ha- what happened to my voice? Oh, man, it must be that puberty going around. I thought I already went to puberty. Oh, well. <laughs> I am totally Zach Hillman. And just so you know... KFC ads are not exaggerating when claiming the 11 herbs and spices used to season their chicken. They are top secret. There are two separate plants that create half of the mixture, and then a computer does the mixing, ensuring that no single location has the full recipe. Or they're porno passwords. (laughs) (laughs) Oh, Lord. Oh, man. Wow. I love Zach. Yeah, dude. Zach bringing his Zach attack. Um and just shoving his nutsack. I on. love our I love our child too. Yeah, how is your butt baby doing it's these good, days? Man. Yeah, it's really good. Yeah, um, it graduated. It's got a doctorate now. It does. Yeah, it's, yeah. It's, uh, but it also, um, you know, I'm kind of concerned because I uh, I was told the other day we we were having a uh, we were having dinner. Yeah, and um, what did it get me food? No, it was well. <laughs> they, I mean, close. It, but they're, they're trying. You know, they're 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 taking a turn. And they decided to uh, um, come out as a fecal filiac. Oh, really? Yeah. So yeah. they're like a cannibal. I know. It's a little it's strange. A- I, to- I told him, I said, you know, when you come out and you, you make these bold claims, you know, there's going to be people that are going to judge you. And, um, you know, me and Zach are very concerned, but we are 100% on board. And, Dude. And, yeah. Good, man. Yeah. Well, speaking of human shit. A and W is <laughs> all right, man. No. Come on, dude. Like, I love A and W. I'm just I'm playing. This here. this is a this is a Bay Area original. Well, the greater outlying Bay Area, yeah, of yeah. Northern Sacto, California, whatever. Yeah, yeah, Sacramento, yeah. Lodi, um, which was if you guys are familiar with the show Sons of Anarchy, there was a lot of uh, business going on with the Sons and Lodi. Yeah. Um. Anyway, so uh, yeah, it was started. Little brief history. Of A and W, and then we can get to our own experiences at the chain. Yeah, Gemma uh, Teller found yeah, a root yeah, beer yeah. tree. It was grandma, <laughs> it was uh, the the great uh, Gemma Teller the first. <laughs> yeah. All right, so because I mean, fuck, man, this place goes along. This goes. This place goes way, way back. Yeah, it predates McDonald's. Well, it does more than that at one point in time in the history of A and W. Whoa. Yeah. So, 1919. A guy named Roy Allen, he opened up his first root beer stand in Lodi, California. However, it was four years later that the brothers, Allen and Frank Wright, decided to open up their first drive-in restaurant, a car hop, in Sacramento, California. And only one year later, they began franchising the root beer, where the franchises franchisees would add other menu items and like, you know, they, they kind of d- did their own thing. Uh, and it usually involved, like, towards the, you know, later years, it started involving car hops, which yeah. became a big thing. 
And uh, yeah, so anyway, after getting bought out by his brother, Alan then sold the company in 1950 and retired. But a and is arguably the oldest fast food chain in the world. It, does that predate uh, White Castle too? I think White Castle was like 1920, so it probably so, does. Yeah, it wow, says 1919, dude. yeah. And you got to think about that. Like, fast food didn't become Mm-mm. fast food we know today till like McDonald's and stuff. And like, yeah. and, and it was it developed over time, but AW is fucking like a relic, you know, because it oh, yeah. survived all that, that weird period, the, it, the car hop phase mm-hmm. to. The Great Depression. I don't. It's nuts, man. Yeah, you know, it's, it's like, a lot of time. Yeah. So, yeah, they're 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 nine eleven. You 9/11. know, nine eleven. I mean, I thought that that would kill root beer floats. But uh, yeah, for sure, it almost <laughs> did. <laughs> yeah, unfortunately, that was the plan. Actually, AIDS, you know, <laughs> yeah. it's it's just been all everything. All the terrible things that have happened in the world are all just basically to just smash A and W to bits. And it stands to this it day. It still stands to this day. They have over six hundred restaurants in the United States. I want to say. That there's like over a thousand worldwide, but I, I could be, I could be wrong on that. There, there is, you know, the funny thing uh, to me is, growing up, it was, it was so much more frequent. You'd see it so many more places. Yeah. And in California, other than that, like Lodi one, it's just usually hybrid, like gas station. Now, yum, it, yeah, 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 now, yum brand, yeah. These days, now. right, right, and and that's kind of so the company has gone through like rapid expansion and like then. A, a drastic pullbacks in the in the course of basically from the 50s on so they really did a lot of expansion in the 50s and 60s up to a certain point where they had over 2,000 stores in 1960 wow mid 60s they got to a point where they actually had more mcdonald's than they had there was more a and w's mm. than there were mcdonald's wow. in the united states yeah. or well, in the world they also expanded into canada as well early on into like i think winnipeg and Calgary, I believe. Wow, and then it got to like Malaysia and like yeah. Southeast Asia, yeah. which is yeah. nuts. Like, so they did a lot of things first. They kind of branched out. They had- well, yeah. I mean, they they like they sold off their the A and W soda. Yeah. So, uh, so the the soda brand is, has nothing to do with the fran- with the restaurants anymore. So they oh, they split really? that up. Yeah. Or uh, w- when it was bought by yeah. it was bought in 1963 and also in 67. Uh, eventually to United Food Company. Um, and then in 71, the beverage department began supplying the bottled beverages to, you know, grocery stores. But I, I feel like that whole end of things is just a different, you know, we're not really talking about the soda. Mainly se, the, the restaurant. The restaurants. And, 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 I mean, it's that uh, his uh, root beer uh, r- recipe, his ingredients are what make it great. And yeah. I mean, dude, those root beer floats are, are the best. I mean, it, when, it, when someone asks what a good root beer float is, I automatically always think of A&W. Right. And, and I, so by you, when you grew up, did you have an A&W in town? Yes, there was. So there's a couple of weird, there's a, there was like five in my county. Oh, wow. Yeah, there was yeah. a bunch. So there was one in Petaluma. There's one now. There's one in Rona Park, which is I think it's a hybrid. It's like a A and W and a KFC or something. Um, there's one in Rona Park. There's one in Santa Rosa, I believe. There's one or one in Windsor. There's one in Vallejo. But when I was a kid, there was two in Santa Rosa, where that was the old school car hops. Whoa! Which still there's still one in uh, San Rafael, which is one that I used to pass all the time. And that's actually the only in the last like 20 years, the only time that I've had an A and W float. Has been from the San Rafael. It's right off Highway 101. Um, that's where I've gone anytime that I've gone to AW because it's the old car hop style. Yeah. And it's really well maintained. It's all brick. Wow. So, and it's a drive through, but it's got that iconic. I, it's hard to describe over, you know, over the mic, but you know what I'm talking about? That that iconic, like, that, that, that weird architectural detail. They had on the roof lines. Do you yes. remember this? The fifties yeah. and sixties ones. Yeah, because I feel like that's the more the most prevalent type of A and W. After that, so w- they sold a whole bunch of times. I don't want to really get into the nitty gritty of all this shit because it, it doesn't really fucking matter. But um, when they sold off to a certain point, they they brought the cha- they made the headquarters in in Michigan, and the head of the company was like, "We got to scale back." They ended up taking from 2,400 restaurants. They went down to just 500. Wow! And they just really focused in on those 500. And ever since then, they've done a lot of like weird kind of expansions. 
um, they br- they bought a chain of um, like a, what is it? I, it's somewhere in here. There's like um, oh man, that's my notes. I have so many notes on this place. Um, but uh, yeah, so they they ended up getting um, they they ended up with a new format. It's, it was the A uh, and W Great Food Restaurants. It was a concept with. 10 corporate stores it was a sit down upscale thing and then there was some bullshit about like they bought another um like chain that was called uh, uh carousel snack bars and that is when they started expanding into malls and like things like that yeah so they bought like 200 stores and there was they were mainly had a focus on hot dogs which i never knew was a thing because when i think a and w i think of their bacon cheeseburgers yeah and and you bring up the bacon cheeseburger, and this is what's extraordinary about this already extraordinary story of burgers and history. Uh, is the uh, bacon cheeseburger was originated at A and W? Yeah, all these other motherfuckers can't claim that. No. This place has been doing the cheeseburger since the '60s in mm-hmm. Michigan. It was yes. the Michigan guy, the, yes. fran- the franchisee of, of a Michigan store, Detroit. Sorry, w- wasn't it some guy? Th- didn't some like customer come in and just say, "I want bacon on my cheeseburger"? And he did it, like every single day or something. Yeah. That so was, thank God yeah. for that guy. My uncle. Yeah. <laughs> yeah my great uncle. Dude, great well, uh, props to your great uncle because, uh, yeah, that that it's uh, the bacon cheeseburger. I mean, that that changed that changed it up for fast food forever, man. I mean, yeah, it, the. Carl's Jr. Uh, or the you know, Wendy's Baconator. Yeah, the Baconator. Yeah, this is the the OG daddy mm-hmm. of them all. And it's funny because you know you say that about AW since it's been around for so long. Yeah, it's kind of neat because like you go to the one that's like a car hop. Yeah, the ones that are left for me because there used to be a ton in Southern California. Sure, and they were standalones. I can't. Yeah, they were all standalones. But then I can't believe the la- there's 2,400 of them in the states. Yeah, it's nuts. I don't know where they're at exactly. I feel like they're all tucked away. Like. But it's they're they were bought out by Yum at one point, right? Yeah, and I I think let me see here, yeah they're still owned by Yum, and that's the thing is that the original A and W in my hometown closed, and my first real well I had a, my first real job was at a KFC. Now that KFC in my hometown is a KFC A and W. Yeah, see the the Yum is mm-hmm. KFC. Uh, it uh, says Taco Bell, Long John yeah. Silver's, yes, <laughs> which is another anomaly. Like, but yeah, Long John Silver's, <laughs> fast food, seafood. Yeah, it's amazing, and you know, it's funny because that's the only way I can find an A and W is right. on the way to Vegas. Yeah. Oh, oh, is there a standalone? There, no, well, no, they're all uh, paired with like a KFC gas station, whatever. Yeah, yeah. But uh, but I I love A and W, man. Their cheese curds now, like, are oh, yeah, they amazing. Have those. Yeah, they're, they're kinda, like deep fried ones, aren't they? Yeah, they remind me of like the way chicken fries sort of saved Burger King, in a way. <laughs> you go like, to so you go to A and W for the cheese curds. Yeah, I do, and the root beer floats. Yeah, and the uh, congestion and oh, the really diarrhea. Yeah, smelly farts and the loud. Yeah, oh. My brother woke me up. Yeah, we had like uh, the each, both of us. I think had twenty five uh, uh, sriracha cheese curds. Oh my god! And so the next A&W? morning it was a fart war. You know, holy shit! Yeah, we had a. <laughs> Yeah, I had to change my pants in the wedding that we were at. It was Dude. fun, but yeah, I think A and W uh, like deserves some sort of recognition. You know, yeah. and I think it's they good were that we're they were the first. It. Yeah, they were first through a couple things. Yeah, they're over a hundred years old. It's so fucking crazy. crazy. Yeah, we can't even go to what, what's the closest to me and you right now in La, in Los Angeles. Area? I don't know of any of them. Well, let's find out right now. Let's let's see where there's an A and W near us. Red I, I Redlands even, might be the closest. Uh, that seems like a place <laughs> they would have a. Yeah, is that fucked up to say? Yeah, Cavina used to have it. I mean, I the uh, San Dimas, um, definitely in L.A. There was there had to be a bunch of them. All right, I'm gonna fi- I'm gonna find one near us. Yeah, this is this is curious. And so you know, you guys, uh, you can't talk, but the yeah. <laughs> please please do. Uh, but you know what the A and W stand for? Yeah, it stands the, for the, the, the two names, the two Alan and, names. and Wright. And it's funny because after Wright was bought out by Allen, um, they still kept the W because it's like you know, fuck it, it's a name, it's a good name. Yeah. All right, so I'm finding. What's strange is that there's other there's like A and W barbecued seafood. It's like get the fuck out of here. That's obviously not a A and W. Yeah, there's like two A and W seafood restaurants near us. No, fucking three. And the, and the, wow, that's like the close. The, but that's not A and W. Bro, there's like 
There is not one near us at all. Not yeah. a single one. To me in Chino, Redlands is the closest, and that's 40 minutes probably. <laughs> like, There's nothing near us. That's does crazy. Does it say Redlands? I'm curious if that one's still around. Um, I know there's a, you can get meth probably at that. Yeah, there's an A&W in Redlands. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Four, four stars with almost 2,000 reviews. <laughs> 2, Pe- hey, you know? <laughs> who the fuck is... There's been... 1,894 Google reviews on the A&W restaurant in Redlands, California. Who the fuck is leaving reviews? <laughs> uh, obviously, almost 2,000 people have left a review for A&W. And why am I clicking on it? Because I'm want i curious to see what people write about this fucking place. Yeah, let's just... I want to hear some of the... All right, it's... My computer's thinking, but... Uh, th- that just boggles my mind that people write, like, Yelp reviews or Google reviews on, like, fast food chains. Yeah, yeah, that's... What? Why? Insanity. That's like, like who's going to leave? Like, oh, I, I want to. I wonder how the In N Out Burger is in Pasadena. I, wa- I wonder how that one is. I'm going to go on Yelp and, and see if there's some reviews that speak to me. It's fucking In N Out Burger. Yeah. I don't give a fuck what your opinion is about <laughs> it. It's In N Out Burger. <laughs> the fuck is your problem? Yeah. I don't know what's going on with this, but. Hey, wait, I, actually, I think I, I, I got some reviews. Oh, wait, oh no. All right. I feel like this is going to turn into like erotic fan fiction. I don't we start know, reading dude. reading like reviews on like Foster Freeze and shit. I know uh, you're yeah. going to start. <laughs> you're going to plan to just wait. The next couple episodes, we'll have some reviews for you guys. Oh my god, I, I could totally see you like planting. <laughs> you know? I don't know. There's some crazy people out there, guys. Okay, you, you got something to look forward to. All right, so how do you want me to short this? You want the you want the best of the worst? The uh, let's do the best. No, let's do the worst and then the best. Okay, and on a high note. Yeah, because I love A&W. Dude, okay, here's, uh, here's Steve Harris. He's a local guide. Uh, he went through the uh, drive through and ordered a combo burger meal, only to find out after he had paid, the ice cream machine was broken and no sign on the menu. Plus, there was no verbal warning when placing the order. In addition, they completely got the toppings on the burger wrong, and the meat was rancid tasting. Ew, stay away from this disgusting place, all caps. Your colon will thank you later. Puke emojis. This is a local guide, Steve Harris. Well, so so he chose to eat the rancid meat completely? I'm sure he did. I mean, Do you think he like had a, a, he's a he's plunger a, up his ass when he's doing it? A what, a plunger? Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. We should ask. You want me to respond and, and see? It's like, did you have a... No. All right. It's, uh, let's see. There's a lot. It, it, mostly of, of these one stars are... Here's, a, here's Austin Tittle. He spent $45 on three meals and a float. Waited almost 40 minutes. Then the root beer didn't, spelled wrong, even taste right. He spelled didn't wrong. Fuck these people. Wow. Fuck anybody that leaves a review. I'm going to say it right now. Anybody that leaves a review for fucking A&W... Can eat a dick. <laughs> you're not going to A and W for service, nor are you going there for the quality of the food. No, you're going there because you have some kind of sick perversion <laughs> going on for cheese curds with your brother and sriracha sauce. That's why you're going there. Yeah, I, <laughs> I agree. I, I concur. You know, it's funny. We, uh, I forgot to mention. You know, Alan, when he uh, started doing the root beer floats, uh-huh. the and the, the root beers. Um, he had his own glass company. That's why they were in those mugs, and they were the first ones to do really? root beer in those frozen mugs. Whoa! They like originated that. That's so, awesome. Yeah, yeah. They'd go to like I think the first thing that he did with his root beer was at like a veterans uh, parade or something, which is crazy because you think about that. A veterans parade then could have been the Civil War veterans. Sure. So all those nice guys that fought for the Confederacy, yeah. <laughs> enjoyed some root beer. Uh, amen. No, no, yeah. Pra- no, praise. But, uh, no, he's from Chicago, so yeah. it's probably. Uh, but uh, I think he did that in California. So. Do you remember as a kids getting the little the little mugs? Yes. Those are so cool. Fuck, man. We got to get an A&W from like the gas station or something. Maybe Steve Harris will join us and we'll... Um, yeah, totally. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. This doesn't even taste like root beer. I wonder what his other reviews are. You know, like, no Dude. boo. More like... Yeah. <laughs> more like <laughs> more poo. <laughs> yeah. This place blows. Oh, man. It, that just blows my mind. Everything's in Asian. Yeah. <laughs> He's racist. He just, oh my he just, God. <laughs> Steve Harris has like a Nazi tattoo on his forehead. He probably does. 
I mean, shit, he is reviewing fucking <laughs> the Redlands good a- A&W good. Fuck. Does this give it the time when they Fuck let the review, dude? Shit. <laughs> it's like no, I was like, it, well, I don't know. <laughs> it, it does leave, but I, I wanted to fast. I wanted to see what the lowest. Yeah, local guide Steve Harris. Let's find out, Steve Harris. How you doing? His sunglasses are fucking lame as fuck in this photo, by the way. All right. Let's find some... Where's... He's got almost 21... 1,200... He's on almost 1,500 uh, Google points. I don't know what that means, but... He's left all... He's got... What the fuck? I'm sure we'll run into him more as we uh, go along in our food service. Uh, oh, yeah. Our food uh, episodes. Because yeah. our food special, guys. I don't, I'm excited, man. Yep. Well, yeah, this is uh, one of the series. Yeah, fuck Steve Harris. Yeah, dude, that's all we gotta yeah. say is fuck Steve Harris. Is there a good review in there? I'm sure there's a great, there's there's great ones. Let's find out. I'm giving too much attention to this fucking guy. He does look like a piece of shit. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> I don't like him. I don't fucking like Steve Harris. He's a douche. Okay, highest review. Let's find out. All right, another local guide, Violet V. The cheese, cur- the bit of a The cheese curds here are great. <laughs> A truly rare find these days, and an old school root beer float on a drive back home is great too. The papa sauce is delicious with the cheese curds. The papa sauce? <laughs> What's the papa sauce? Oh, that's right, <laughs> dude. I'm glad that he mentioned, uh, and that's a hilarious we got, review. We gotta talk. Yeah, that, she's great. I love Violet. Yeah, Thank so you, Violet. That's Appreciate ranch, you. right? Papa sauce. I guess. Well, I mean, dude, ranch. Um, um, hello. But yeah, uh, the papa, the ma- the family menu. Yeah, well, there's like, yeah, that's because that was their mascot for a while. Was the, the was the A&W family? Yes, the family. So there'd be a papa burger, yeah. a mama burger, a teen burger, and a baby and a, burger, and a baby burger, something like that. Think, which yeah, a baby yeah. burger sounds not. And like I think a... Steve Harris had the abortion <laughs> burger. <laughs> oh boy! But uh, wow. yeah. <laughs> well, I, I got another local guide here for you, Ken Martin. He says he had a great experience, a wonderful time. A&W had a smooth root beer. Smooth root beer. That's a. It's like you like take a sip. You're like, mmm, like, smooth. Smooth. Mmm, tangy. He's all, yeah. It tasted really smooth while yeah. I was on my mm. oxycotton. <laughs> yeah. It's like you know, at first I thought I was drinking my soup, but it was actually it was actually uh, no, it was it was a smooth root beer. Yeah, smooth. Is it um, medicine? What is he talking about? <laughs> Uh, oh, he mentions this again. This is this guy's great. I, I kind of love Ken Martin because he mentioned smooth twice in this. So A and W had a smooth root beer. It's always been fantastic, and it's still the same. Can I get the same smooth root beer out of the fountain dispenser? Well, uh, as well as as the pull tap. I had forgotten how this how sweet the root beer is. Won't get a combo meal for five of us next time though. We spent forty six bucks for the burgers and fries and onion rings. It's a little high. Next time. Just floats and rings. But it was still an awesome experience and worth the five stars. I can already see his fetish. Uh, yeah, he so came it, in that burger. Yeah, he, that was yeah, the, he, yeah. he, he added his own papa sauce. It's real smooth. Yeah, he came in that. Yeah, dude. He had, he had the onion ring as a cock ring. He did, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Over everything, just fucking yeah, his, stretched out. Yeah. His, his balls uh, broke out. Yeah, dude. <laughs> Fuck yeah. <laughs> well, that's. I mean, hey, at least at least there's some people out there trying to spread spread some goodness, you know, out there in the world. Even yeah, if, Papa sauce. Yeah, yeah. Try to spread some spread something. Hello. I don't know. After all this talk of a man fucking onion rings <laughs> and uh, <laughs> sticking his dick into root beer float, and you want to go sauce, to Big Boy? I feel like going to oh Big Boy. Yeah, oh, we go yeah, to Big Boy. Dude. Yeah. We got to go to Big Boy. Yeah, we talked about it in the last episode. Yeah, I'm excited, man. For all, I'm yeah. excited to get some diabetes, dude. Yeah, diabetes. Yeah, dude. As uh, Brett what, Michaels. Fred Michaels. Yeah. Brett. Dude. Brett, Brett Michaels. Michaels. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Fred diabetes? Michaels. That's his cousin. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Hey, Fred. Yeah. Does 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 Brett have diabetes? Yeah, he does. He he would call it diabetes. Oh shit. On the uh, on the show, oh, Rock dang. of Love. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. That's right. That was like a fucking plot line. I mean. Part of his life, it's yeah. a plot line in his Diabetes. life. Diabetes. Hope he's doing good. Brett Michaels? <laughs> yeah. I'm sure he's doing great. Yeah, dude. He probably doesn't have a care in the world, that guy. No, I, yeah, he seems like a chill guy, too. The, if he was a songwriter on, on, on some of those tracks, and he's doing good. And like yeah. with the residuals from the show, I bet you he got paid out a pretty penny. Not maybe for the first season, but for the other seasons. Yeah. 
Yeah, well, pay for I, all his chlamydia treatments and fucking gonorrhea yeah. pills. I'm excited to see him at uh, Sturgis this year. Too, Hell yeah! Right? <laughs> <laughs> That'd be so great to go to Sturgis and oh, see Brett Michaels. Yeah, dude. Maybe we could stop yeah. at a couple A and W's. Exactly. On the way. Yeah, jerk off in the bathrooms because we're so <laughs> horny for Brett Michaels. Man, jerk just and but we'll keep it for our Papa sauce for the next A and W that we hit because hey, you know what? With over 600 in the United States right now, we're not that far away from one. Redlands isn't that far away. No, dude. Just Thank some, God. Yeah, yeah. Thank God. If there's any reason to go to Redlands, it's A&W. Yeah. But you know what, though? All seriousness, all seriousness, and to kind of wrap this thing up, I have great experiences at A&W as a little boy, going into the original car hop, um, getting the little mini mugs, having those mini mugs at my grandma's house, um, where you know it was, it was commonplace to fill that thing up with soda like nine times because it was the 80s, and soda was basically juice. Oh, totally. Um, yeah, like organic juice <laughs> in the in the 80s um so yeah i, I loved i, I loved uh a and w quite a bit and i still do to this day especially that the san rafael location um it's a pretty special one because it's so well kept and yeah man like it's a, it's a standalone so dude yeah well i'm i'm excited man uh, i thank you guys for joining us at our our a and w special yeah we've got some more uh we got a delicious lot. specials to we come. sure do yeah and uh, man, yeah, you could uh, follow Ross at Roscoe Soul Train on social media. It's a weird spelling, but you'll find links in it down below. So there hell you go. yeah, and you can follow uh, me and everything I do and the podcast at Robert Land Podcast on on everything. So thank you guys. Be safe out there, and uh, I'd like to go out on Life Is a Ride, and I'm on a ride <laughs> all night long, baby. <laughs> <laughs> bye bye. <laughs>